sorry. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Jordi and this is Hekyo. Two years ago we quit our jobs and left our home in South Korea to do one of the things we like the most, to travel. We have been backpacking for the past two years and we still didn't get tired. Maybe it's because instead of rushing to sightseeing spots, we prefer to travel slow, stay as long as we can in a place and learn how life is there. Rather than as visitors, we prefer to experience new places as locals. We don't plan much ahead and we are always welcoming new opportunities. One of these opportunities was spending a few weeks in a city that we always wanted to visit. Well, not just visiting, but to experience the daily life. Welcome to our new series. We are the Lifetime Travel Mates, and this is living in Singapore for one month. Since during our house sitting in Singapore, we had plenty of time. We not only stayed at home taking care and having fun with the cat, but we also took it very easy exploring the city, one neighborhood at a time. Singapore is not a very big city, but it has plenty of places to visit, some of them more touristy, some of them more local. We made sure to keep a good balance between the both. We left some of the most popular places for the last days. One of those areas was Clock Quay a historical riverside which is now a trendy spot full of restaurants and nightclubs. On today's episode, we will take you to one of the most fancy areas in Singapore. The Singapore River has been the center of trade since modern Singapore was founded in 1819. During the colonial period, Boat Quay was the commercial center where barge lighters would transport goods upstream to warehouses at Clark Quay. At the height of its prosperity, dozens of bomb boats were struggling to find mooring space beside Clark Quay. This continued well into the later half of the 20th century, by the time the Singapore River had also become very polluted. On that night, we went to eat one of the dishes we still hadn't tried in Singapore, hot pot. Also known as steam boat is a Chinese cooking method consisting of a simmering pot of soup stock at dining table containing a variety of East Asian ingredients. The place where we went is called Upi. There you can choose a big variety of vegetables, mushrooms, meats, and seafood for your hot pot. And you can choose among a big variety of toppings to create your own sauce. the problem of the pollution of the river, the government decided to relocate cargo surfaces to a new modern facility in Pasir Panjang. The bamboos and trucks departed to their new home and Clark Quay fell silent. The government then cleaned up the Singapore River and its environment from 1977 to 1987. Plans were made to revamp the area and turn it into a flourishing commercial, residential and entertainment precinct. These plans took into serious consideration the historical value of Clark Quay, making it mandatory that new buildings complement the historical character of the area and that certain old buildings be restored. At some hot pot restaurants, when you order noodles, you can enjoy a hand-pulled noodle performance by your table. We didn't know that could happen, and we just ordered some noodles and the guy surprised us with his skills.
crazy. Wow. Check the size of noodles. Not only they give you the apron that is quite common in places, but they gave us just a small cloth to clean the glasses in case some of the boiling soup splashes into the glass. It's very interesting. The newly redeveloped Clark Quay consistently attracts over 2 million visitors a year and is a major social and tourist component of brand Singapore. Nowadays, the area is popular for its restaurants, bars, clubs, shops and for its Singapore River Cruise. Check out the link below in the description for more information. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, help us and click the like button and subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell so you won't miss any episode. Leave a comment with your opinion, questions, ideas, whatever you want. You can also support this channel buying Life and Travel Mates merchandising. You can find a big variety of products designed by ourselves and inspired by our travel stories. Make sure you check the link on the description. And if you also want to become house sitters like us, we have been using trusted house sitters. You can check so many opportunities all around the world taking care of pets, being with them in a real home and experiencing the local life like we do. Check the link on the description. There is also a mobile app for trusted house sitters to make all the communication and managing the profile and all more conveniently. And if you like the music on this episode, we use Epidemic Sound for all our videos. It's an amazing tool for video creators to find the right soundtrack, background music and sound effects. You can get 30 days free trial following the link on the description down below. Again, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Last night in Singapore, uh, especially at night, it's very beautiful. It has some kind of treetops or huge umbrellas with different lights and colors. Maybe if we get inspired, we might have some dinner around here, but we might not get very inspired because we are, well, it's a fancy area. It's kind of expensive. So we will see, we will see.